Hi everyone, this is Todd Gary. I'm working in the Emergency Operations Center at Canby Fire. We just wanted to show you what Canby Police and Canby Fire are doing to take care of our families and to take care of the community with our personal protective equipment. One of the things we do when we come to the station in the morning, we have to check in. What check in means is we sign in with the date and the time that we entered the building. We take our temperature. Our temperature must be below 100. If it's over 100, we get, have to go back home. We don't get to work that day. We also say whether we've had any signs or symptoms of any kind of illnesses at all. And we need to wash our hands. So we immediately go from taking our temperature, signing in to the restroom that is really close to wash our hands and make sure our hands are clean. That way, everything that we've brought from our cars and brought from the outside it is not on us anymore when we're touching things in the station. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about PPE. You see the guys walking out here? They're all in different levels of PPE. From the police officer that doesn't have a lot on to the last firefighter in the line that has a whole bunch on. We're going to talk about each one of those now. This officer is equipped with a P100 type mask and gloves. Every time they make a stop, they are making sure they have their proper PPE on to protect not only themselves, but protecting the public and protecting you at home. The next officer, he has a little smaller mask. It's a N99. It's a mask that actually fits fairly close to his face, but it still filters out the droplets and the things that would carry the COVID-19 virus. He's using this when he approaches a suspect, whenever he has to talk to people in public. But really, we're really trying to, as police officers, maintain that six feet of distance between people. We're not getting really close. We're trying to stay back. On to the firefighter. Your first firefighter you see, he's got a, a P100 type mask on, his safety glasses, his gloves, and a long sleeve shirt. That's protecting him from people that probably don't have the signs and symptoms of COVID-19. These are on every patient that we go on. He's going to be dressed like that. The next firefighter has a gown. He has the P100 style of mask, and he also has safety glasses and gloves. Next level of protection. It's just moving up depending on the severity of the patients that we're seeing. You'll notice that next firefighter, he has a Tyvek style suit on, fully enclosed. He has gloves. He has a full face mask, including face protection. He would be wearing this type of equipment if we're going to do anything that nebulizes or puts fine particles out in the air. Or if we have somebody that's COVID-19 that we suspect, and he's riding in the back of the ambulance all the way to the hospital with that person. He's going to be dressed like that. He's going to have his eye protection, face protection, and inhalation protection for himself and the rest of his body. The other thing we're doing is our chaplains. We have a chaplain that's on call, and our chaplain is also set up to wear special protective clothing. So if we call our chaplain out, and it's a time of need with our chaplain, and he's got to go out into the public, he's also going to be dressed up in everything that keeps him safe, and keeps you safe. We're very serious about our personal protective equipment. It's for our protection, it's for your protection, it's for our family's protection. We wanna make sure we're doing the right thing for all our people. Hey, I just wanna let everybody know this video is done by voiceover. The reason we're doing it by voiceover is we wanna have the least amount of contamination we possibly can. So we're not sharing mics, we're not using lapel mics, we're not sharing anything like that. So it's all done with voiceover to give you the same information. Please, stay home, save lives.